Greetings of peace, my dearest friends. Our verse for today comes from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verse 51. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. Dearest friends, the verse we just heard is Jesus' words to the people, the disciples, the Pharisees, and others around him. This verse seems to contradict Jesus' words, what Jesus came to do on earth, say, to give peace, the kind of peace that the world does not give and cannot give. But here Jesus is saying, I have not even come to give any peace on earth. I am not bringing any peace on earth, but division. What does this mean that Jesus has come to bring division instead of peace? Yes. Division because the very moment you say, I will live life of truth. I will live life of chastity. I will live life without any deceit. That very moment, you set yourself against many movements, against many of your friends, against many of your relatives. When you decide to be a Christian, to be of God, you decide against compromise. When you are in a meeting of the kindred or in any religious or social group, and there is a plan against another, Directly or indirectly, your ability to stand up and say, I am not of this plan. I do not belong to this. I don't share this mindset. I am not of this opinion. You are standing against the group. And you must be ready to face the division you are creating with your decision. That is the best decision out of Christ. The world will hurt you for the things you do for the good things you do, for the good decisions you've made, the way you've chosen to dress, the way you've chosen to live your life. Many people will see you as a danger, as a challenge, as an obstacle. They will try to do away with you. That is the division Christ is talking about. If you are not ready to stand up in the midst of challenges, in the midst of evil, and say, I am not of this. No matter who you are offending, no matter if the family member is among, or what you are to face among your kindred, or among your age mates, or among your colleagues, then you have not yet begun to live the faith, the life Christ is talking about. Imagine Christ. He's coming into the world, made the division already. The Pharisees knew this man is not from us. The Sadducees knew this man is not of us. You must not be loved. Our faith, our life is not a life of let me do everything so that people, everybody will love me. No. The life we have called to live is a life of let me do the will of God. Let me love my fellow human beings as God will want me. Let me stand up for the truth as God would like me to do. Let me speak out against evil. Let me stand, even when I'm standing alone, against any maltreatment. That is the call Christ is giving us. And unless we have decided to live that life, to face that challenge, to stand up to it, then we have not actually begun to live as Christians. So my dearest friends, we must not be afraid of division our Christian faith will incur. We must not be afraid of how people will see us, how they will like to shift us by the side, how they will not love to do anything with us or certain things, how they will stop certain conversations when we come around. Remember, Christ said, if the world hates you, Remember that it hated me first. John 15, 18. And may God give us that grace and blessing not to mind what we suffer because of our faith, 
it is better to be of God than to be millions loved by the world. Peace be with you.